Hi everybody, welcome to a new tutorial on beat cutter. So this is the first one where uh, we go into the details, we start to go into the details on how beat cutter works. So it is a good idea to start slowly and with simple things so that you get a robust understanding of how the application works. So in this first video, I'm going to show you how you can assign a file, a simple WAV file, to an input and play that. Simple as that, I know it's very simple, but we need to start from somewhere. So uh, for the purposes of the demonstration, um, I have um, all the input um, buses here on the main screen set to bus mode one. So the inputs, the uh, triggers, the controls and the sequencer, and I have the output set to bus mode seven so that you have the outputs here. Okay, now let's go into the input, okay, uh, screen. Now let's select um, um, the first input bus, okay, here. Let's select file, and then, um, so it will be a type file, and then let's click on the file here. Now this is where I showed you all the samples that you have available, and uh, if you don't have any, you have to import them. So you click import here, and you Im click on one, and you import it inside the bit cutter. Now, when you have imported one, you can click on one, you can rename it, you can delete it. When you found the one which you want to use, like in this case, the base, click on set. As you can see, the WAV file has been loaded. You can see, see it here on the top. And you have the name of the file. And then you have also the duration here in, in uh, seconds. So it is four seconds and you have the waveform over there. Now, if I, I can click play here, and you will see that he activates the start of the button right here. And you can see the waveform is being played. You see this vertical uh, red arrow. Now, <clears throat> and you see the counted here, which goes up to four, okay, for four seconds. Now, you don't hear anything because it's a file and you can either start to slice it or you can send the output of that wave file directly to your final output on the chain. And you do that here where it says file direct, you have this arrow, so you click um, movie up. Okay, now um, if I turn it right down, you can see there is a, a signal here um, on this uh, level meter that is telling us that there is some input coming in. Okay, now if you click on the output, you don't see anything as well, but if you click on the rev, you don't see anything either. Okay, if I go back to the input and uh, let's click on start to stop it, um, let's increase the volume, let's go to the reverb, which is at the end of the chain of outputs, let click start and you see the output coming through. Here. Okay, now let's go back to the input. So now, hopefully this is clear. Now let's choose another input bus here, number two. Let's make sure that these, it is of type file. Let's click on file and let's bring in these electric piano. Let's click set. Now let's increase a little bit of volume and let's click play. You might wonder, you might be wondering, why do you have a play button here? You have a start button down here. Well, if you are already playing something and you introduce another uh, wave file, that will not be playing. So instead of st uh, stopping the play and restarting, you can just click on play. But if you do that, it will not be synchronized to the others which are already playing. So just bear that in mind. Now, let's go back to um, the first one, the first input bus, the first file that we are playing. And I have set the electric piano down to zero, so I put the file direct down to zero. The only other option that you can have um, on playing a file directly to the output is to really adjust the gain of what is called the peak equalizer which you can also adjust the frequency of that peak equalizer. And the gain is very much really to give it a little bit more gain, as the word says in the frequencies to make some adjustment, but they are 
not really a major adjustment, but sometimes it helps. So let me give you a demonstration. More gain. Change the frequency of the pick analyzer. It's a pity actually that you don't have automation for this frequency. I think that would come really, really handy. So anyway, this is the first video. So it's important that you start to hear some audio coming out. I'm running the application in standalone. Of course, I could have done that also as a and a UV free, which I show you in the next video, because the setup is slightly different. Hopefully this is clear so far. I'll see you in the next video. Thank you. Bye.